want to introduce you to our training tool called the Koch Crusher. So this is an adaptation of our Mamba training tool, and it was suggested by our long drive pal, Josh Koch. So this is an extended handle and a heavy rope, and that's going to enable you to use this handle to create leverage and strength and power. There's going to be five exercises in the program, and what you'll notice is in many of them, you will actually tuck this handle under the lead armpit. So, the first exercise is just called rocking, and you may have seen a lot of the long drive professionals doing this. So here's the handle tucked under, and I have my hands comfortably, my arms comfortably extended down the handle. Now, the rope is anchored to a heavy dumbbell, and the rope is 50 feet long, but I'm only standing 16 feet from where it's anchored to some kind of a weight or a pole or a stake. You will never use the crusher without the rope being anchored. It is always anchored. Okay, here's rocking. So literally, I'm going to pick my feet up off the ground on each rep and just rocking back and forth to set a rhythm and a tempo and a center to the swing. So that's always how you're going to start, by a number of sets of rocking just to kind of warm up and get the rhythm. Now, the second exercise is a power move. It's called rock and heave. We're going to use that rocking motion and then make a very powerful burst into the backswing. So again, here's the pole anchored. Now I'm going to rock. And then every third or fourth time, I'm going to make that very powerful move into the backswing using these oblique muscles. So here's the rock. There's the heave. So you'll do a few sets of that. Now, the purpose of that is to get you to load your backswing very powerfully. It's not a backswing technique exercise, it's a power move. So you're usually only gonna do three or four reps per set on that one. All right, now we have rock and slap shot. So we're gonna use the rocking move to set the rhythm, then we're gonna go the other way. Now, what I'm gonna do here, I have it tucked under. This lean hand is gonna be up more and this hand gonna be extended down more. And I'm gonna use my right palm to push through because what I want is my trail side to push through very strongly. So here's the rock. There's the slap shot. So you can see I'm going about from nine o'clock to three o'clock in terms of the range of motion. Okay, so finished position of the right arm, pointing straight down the fairway toward the target. The fourth exercise is called step and shoot. So I'm gonna use that slap shot move, but I'm gonna make a sliding step with each rep just to increase my momentum. So I'm gonna move a little bit this way. Now here I go, rocking. Okay, so again, you can see this trail side coming through like that. All right, now you're gonna end up the workout with what we call full rotation. So I'm gonna take that slap shot move, but I'm gonna push it more fully around with much more energy up and around. Okay, I'm still gonna use the rocking move. So with the slap shot, I was finishing here, with the full rotation, much more up and around. I'll do it one more time. So, a much fuller burst of energy all the way through to the finish. Those are your five exercises with the Koch Crusher. All right, we're ready to work out. The first exercise is rocking. Handle is under the lead armpit. All right, here we go. So you can see we want the feet literally leaving the floor. So this is for rhythm, tempo, timing, sequencing. We're gonna go for another 10 seconds rocking. Good, so keep a smooth rhythm. 
keep it going. Three, two, one. All right. So we're going to do a second set and we're going to increase the magnitude of it a little bit. So it'll be a little bit longer of a sweeping stroke. Here we go. Ready? Rocking a little bit longer, a little more power. These sets are usually going to last 10 to 12 seconds and your feet are actually leaving the floor. So rhythm, timing, sequencing, all without having to think about it, but just letting the natural movement occur. Three more seconds. One, two, three. Exercise number two, rock and heave. So we're going to use the rocking motion to establish a rhythm and then a very powerful, strong move into the backswing. All right, so you can see this again. Let's do it with him. Heave right there. All right, it's a power move, so we're only doing four reps. Usually it's two to three to four of the rocks. And then with that handle out in front, you'll see him step down hard on the right foot. One more. Good. All right, short breather here, and then we're going to do one more set. So remember, you go into the rocking motion, get your rhythm. Then when the handle's out in front, you come down hard on that trailing foot and a very, very strong move into the backswing space. Here we go. There's rocking and there's the heave. So this is a power move. You're never gonna do more than three or four at a time if the exercise is a power move. Good, we're gonna do one more rocking and then the heave. Third exercise in the workout is rocking and slap shot. So we're using that rocking motion again. It's gonna be three or four times usually. And then the whole purpose of this is for the trail side to come through really strong. All right, so two or three, four rocks, and then you fire through trail side. All right, we're gonna get three more rocking and slap shot, rock and fire. Excellent, okay, we need one more. Perfect. All right, so while we're taking a little break here before the second set, let's remember why do we rock? We rock to establish a rhythm, weight transfer, sequencing, without having to think about it intellectually. We're just trying to, to let it happen. All right, the purpose of the slap shot is to fire the trail side through with a lot of power. Here we go. You rock two or three or four times, you get your rhythm, and then here comes the trail side. Great, we're gonna do two more. Perfect. So that's rock and slap shot. Next exercise, step and shoot. All right, here we go. Short backswing and then you're taking a step every time, firing the trail side through. It's just five reps. There we go, okay. So gonna take a short break, reset ourselves. So this is just rhythm, tempo, trail side firing through. Really a lot of just good sequencing without having to think about it too much. Here we go, we're doing five. One, two, three, four, five. Good, we're gonna do a third set on this one. So you notice we're not really rushing from one set to another. We are taking enough time for the breathing to return to normal. And we're doing five reps because we want each of them to be powerful, but we don't want to get too fatigued. We want the set to be over with before any major fatigue sets in. All right, last set of five. Here we go. You can see the step on every rep. Looking good. Here comes number five. 
So that's step and shoot. It's a lot like a hockey slap shot. The last exercise with the crusher is called strong rotations. This is the half backswing and then the very powerful torso rotation through the shot. So you can see he's coming all the way through there. So this differs from the slap shot in that he's rotating through more. All right, he's got two more. This basically is considered a power move, so we're only doing a maximum of five. Good, all right, gonna take a short break, get your breathing back to normal. So again, this is the half back swing. It differs from the slap shot. The slap shot is more pressure maximizing past the ball. Here, you're taking your torso and you're coming all the way through with as much power as you can. All right, here's the last set. Strong rotations. Good, two down, three to go. All right, last one. Great, good workout.